Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and this is Demon. From the very first shot, the Polish movie Demon creates an atmospheric, eerie kind of feeling. But it's not really a horror movie, so don't expect jump scares or gore. It's actually very hard to label it, because it moves between the genres. You can call it a drama, a dark comedy, a twisted horror tale or even a commentary on Polish history. It tells the story of a bridegroom that gets possessed by an unquiet spirit in the midst of his own wedding celebration. Itai Tiran plays this guy. He's an outsider, slowly approaching the old house in the countryside, where the wedding should take place and he's supposed to live from now on. It's gonna be a big wedding, because his new wife Zaneta has a big Polish family. Being a foreigner, coming to another culture, being greeted supposedly with warm reception, but then again, never really being accepted is a theme that's inherent to the whole movie. But to make out what the movie is really addressing is not easy. It's a challenging film and knowing at least a little bit about Polish Jewish history will be very beneficial. After discovering a skeleton in front of the old house, an old spirit attaches itself onto the groom and while this Catholic wedding is in full progress, he gets to the point where he can't hide it anymore. Demon has a great atmosphere. The entire movie takes place only in one location really and over the course of that one wedding celebration. It moves very slowly, it is sometimes a little bit too slow, but the characters are so memorable and there are many humorous moments, so I didn't mind it that much. The father of the bride, his son, a priest, a doctor and a very old professor are the key figures in the movie that you can also describe as a mystery. Because once realized that the spirit is a Jewish one, you try to connect the few dots you are given in order to understand what's really going on and why it might be the deal with this so-called D-book. Filmmaker Marcin Rona doesn't give you many answers and it can be a little bit frustrating, but it's an intriguing movie nevertheless. I think he tried to convey themes of collective guilt, tried to open questions about the Jewish history in Poland and how the country deals with its past. Rona does that without pointing fingers, but rather creating a strange little movie that has horror, comedy and dramatic elements at the same time. The comedy mostly plays with the odd characters, the depiction of cultural extremes. There is so much vodka consumed in this movie. And the really great acting of Itai Tiran. The possession feels creepy and funny at times too. It's a strange performance in a strange movie and the wedding is a cool new surrounding for a horror slash history mystery movie. Sometimes it lost me and I think it does take a little bit too long until the possession shows and it's also a little bit underwhelming in the end, but it's definitely an interesting and very promising film. So it's even sadder that director Marcin Rona died while staying at a Polish film festival where Demon was shown in competition. He was only 42 and apparently killed himself. Now I don't know how to end this review, so let me just ask you. Maybe you've seen the movie? How did you like it? And also, what did you take away from it? Like always, please tell me in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. You